How'd you get your hair like that? How'd you get your hair like that? How'd you get your hair like that? And you're like... it's Mel and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'll be talking to y'all about how I get my hair like this you ever get that question of how do you get your hair like that I tried and it just doesn't come out that way and I'd be looking like what did you use what did you do what did you do <laughs> anyways I'm gonna give you guys I'm gonna ask you guys four questions and answer those questions with tips on what you need to do to get your hair looking like this I'm assuming they're talking about uh, having curl definition <sighs> my band to not is popping today Burn. anyway so let's just get right into it so question number one what product are you using what kind of products are you using are you using a water-based product or are you using a you know styler that is of thicker consistency that's question number one y'all you tell me i wait question number two are you allowing your hair to completely dry either air dry or you know you sat under a hooded cap um or a soft hood like are you allowing your hair to completely dry that's question number two question number three what are you using to wrap your hair at night if it ain't silk you're doing it wrong okay if it is cotton based that you're wrapping your hair with all of that moisture all of that product is gonna go right into that scarf or pillowcase or whatever it is you need to wrap your hair with a silk scarf. Use a satin cap, honey, or have a silk pillowcase if you're bougie. Okay. And question number four. Where are you on question number four? Question number four. Are you separating your hair too much? Are you overpicking your hair? If you are doing all of those different things, uh, as far as you know over picking or separating your curls too much you are going to lose all that definition you worked so hard on last night or this morning so stop you know just don't get separating happy you know just separate you know not that much not that hard but those are my four questions for you and what are you doing So with question number one, what products are you using? I know that water-based products for me don't work as far as if I'm trying to get definition. I'll probably have definition for the first day, but I will not have it tomorrow and I won't have it the day after the next. Yeah, water-based products just don't work for me. I use a thicker consistency of styling products. So everybody knows if you haven't seen my first video, I'll link it in the description box, but Everybody knows that this is my Holy Grail product, which is the Healthy Hair Butter from Carol's Daughter. This right here is the business, if you didn't know. But um, just to show you the consistency, it's very thick. It's a very, it's not water-based at all. It's, I would say, I guess it's more, a little bit more on the oily side. Actually, no, that's wrong. Probably not the oily side, but this is what we're working with here um, but it's nice and thick and it works wonders in my hair don't really like wasting products so don't mind me but um yeah so I use a thick consistency product in my hair um, to basically hold my hair and allow me to get those popping curls and that definition and shine so if you use a water-based product a lot of people i ask um you know what product are you using they tell me they use cantu shea butter 
I'm not gonna knock Canton Shea Butter down because I love this stuff and I definitely used it when I had a TWA. And somebody asked me what a TWA was and a TWA is a teeny weeny afro. So back when I had a small afro, this right here was the business. But I never used it to style my hair as far as um as far as doing bantu knots or uh, flat twist outs or um, just twist outs in general or braid outs. I didn't use this because um, my hair didn't, my hair just soaked it up like a sponge. I would recommend more of a thicker consistency product, more creamier, something that's gonna definitely hold your curl. If you want, you can also add gel like to your ends just to get that curl definition going but it's really about the product that you're using if you're using something that is water-based and your hair can deal with that then you're good but you just gotta make sure that you allow your hair to completely dry which is the next tip allow your hair to completely 100 percent dry because then you won't get a big puff ball or you won't get results that you're just not satisfied with so make sure you allow your hair to completely air dry now if you don't have time for air drying because i know most of us girls don't uh pick you up one of these or just use a blow dryer but i use this if i'm in a rush or i don't have the time to allow my hair to um air dry i use the soft hood from hair flare um and that's what it looks like when you um add your blow dryer at the end of it. This right here is very convenient and it works. So get one of these, or if you have like a regular hooded dryer, which I actually wanna invest in, um, use that and just sit under the dryer and maybe, depending on how wet your hair is, you know, I would stay under there for at least 30 to 30 minutes to an hour, but you really wanna um, let your hair air dry or dry in general to receive that you know curl definition that you're looking for or to get your hair you know with the fine curls or twists or whatever and then tip number three use a um, silk scarf or a satin cap or a silk pillowcase you need to use those type of things when wrapping your hair to keep in the moisture and to keep the um, product on lock in your hair because if you just you know go and like if i were to go lay on my pillow or on my sheets right now that cotton based material would just absorb all the product that's in my hair and then i'm going to be left with dry hair so if you ever wondered why your hair was looking dry or you know how come it didn't come out so the way that you wanted that could be one of the reasons why and so yeah i take my mouchoir and if you didn't know i'm haitian a mouchoir is a scarf i take my scarf and here it goes right here. I had it sent for forever. This, I take this scarf and you can see the shininess to it. It's silky, y'all. Um, and I wrap my hair with it and then I apply my sock and cap right over it. Um, and I go to sleep. So you definitely need a, some type of silk base, satin base type of covering for your hair to allow the moisture to stay in so you can, you know, receive those gorgeous definition curls or twists that you were looking for okay and my last tip is are you over separating your hair when you take out your hair so like oh, let me see this one right here I could take and you know separate it again but you don't want to over separate your hair because then you're going to end up with a big puff or your hair is going to get frizzy. Also, are you using oil at the tips of your finger or applying it to, you know, your hair when you're taking out your twist or your brand or not? Because if not, you're going to get frizz. If you don't like frizz, then you need to put some oil on your tips. What I normally use is the coconut oil um, to separate my curls. This right here, y'all, is also the business. I've been using this since... I was natural don't over separate and don't overdo it with picking out your hair this right here could be your best friend or it could be the devil if you want you know your curls to be popping you use your pick and you only focus on your roots to get that volume and that's it you don't disturb the curl don't over pick because then you're gonna mess up the curls the curl pattern the curl definition and you're gonna be unhappy with your results and you don't want that so 
stop it anyways that was the end of how did you get your hair like that girl hell i just told you all my tips and i asked you all the questions i hope that all of this helped you guys if you want more videos more informational videos just like this please let me know in the comment section below um, don't forget to share this video with your loved ones your friends your family like this video um if you think i should do more like this and um don't forget to subscribe so you can have updated videos on a regular duh hello thank you guys so very much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye